And now we're on problem number five from the 2003 AP Stats test form B. And in this particular problem, we are supposed to answer uh, probability questions and uh, some questions related to uh, this particular game given a wheel which will um, give us a chance of getting $100, $500, $200 and uh, the skunk. So this will be the conditions or the mechanics of uh, this particular game and uh, from this mechanics we're asked to find A, the probability that the results will be a number on all of the first three spins of the wheel and B, we're supposed to uh, find the expected value given that a contestant has already earned $800 on his or her first three spins and what would be the expected value if we are supposed to uh, have our fourth spin of the wheel. And for letter C, we are given uh, this particular uh, frequency table for 100 spins and this particular simulation, um, they counted the number of times they got a skunk, 100, 200, and 500. And for here, we're supposed to carry out a uh, statistical test that will give us an appropriate or statistical evidence that the spin or this particular game is uh, fair. So let's go ahead and start working with problem letter A, which is finding the probability on getting a number or winning money uh, for spinning the wheel three consecutive times. So let's get, go ahead and answer problem letter A. So there are four different um, uh, possibility if we spin the wheel and the probability of getting the number will be 3 out of 4. So if we're computing for the probability of getting a number which is 3 out of 4 um, in three consecutive spins, all we have to do is to multiply each of them, um, 3 over 4, by itself three times. So the probability of getting a number or wi winning something when we spin the wheel three consecutive times will be 0.4219. And for problem letter B, suppose that the contestant has already earned $800. What will be the expected uh, winning for this particular person um, if he wants to uh, spin um, or take the fourth spin for this particular game. So let's go ahead and uh, construct our uh, probability model so we can compute for the expected value of this particular um, condition. So this is now our probability model based on uh, the conditions on the problem wherein we already have $800 on our third spin. So we're supposed to find the expected value or the expected win if we take the fourth spin. So for uh, this particular um, table, we know that if we get a zero, if we get a skunk, um, all our money will be uh, taken away, so it will be zero. And if we win $100, so from 800 now our total uh, winning will be $900. And if we take the fourth spin and landed on a $200, our total will be 1,000. And if we landed at 500, we'll get 1,300. And the probability that this particular um, uh, win will occur is all 25%. And we know to compute for the expected value, it's the summation of x sub i times p sub i. 
and in this case our x sub i will be our total and the probability will be our p sub i so we'll have And if we use our calculator to compute for this expected value, it will be equal to $800. So the expected win for this particular condition will still be $800 using our probability model and the formula for computing for the expected value of uh, this particular variable. Now for letter C, C is we're supposed to conduct a, a statistical test on how to find a statistical evidence that will support our answer that the wheel is fair using this particular table of frequency of skunk, $100, $200, and $500 win for 100 spins. So in this particular um, problem, to uh, conduct a statistical um, test to uh, this given table, we're going to be using the chi-square goodness of fit test. So we're going to conduct a complete um, hypothesis test for um, chi-square goodness of fit test using this model. So let's go ahead and start with our hypotheses. So this is now our hypothesis for our chi-square goodness of fit test, wherein P sub 1 is the probability of getting a skunk, and so on. So in this particular hypothesis, we are showing that the probability of getting each of the item in, the we in our wheel will be consistent. And in this particular alt alternative hypothesis, we're showing that um, it's not consistent or one of the proportion will not be the same as suggested in our uh, hypotheses. So uh, for letter B, we're going to uh, start working on our conditions. So we need to satisfy the normality conditions, independence and uh, randomness of our sample. So let's go ahead and write out the conditions for our hypothesis testing. And in this case, for normality, to uh, find out if the expected count will be greater than 5, you just need to uh, um, work out a table and see if your expected value will all be greater than or equal to 5. So before we complete normality, let's go ahead and start with our table for our calculation. So in this particular case, the observed value will be 33, 20, 21, 20, and 26. And then the expected value will be the mean of our results based on our 100 spins. So if we add this up and divided it by 4, it will, all e it will be equal to 25. So our expected value will be 25. Since we know that the expected value for uh, the observed value, or um, which corresponds to the observed value is all 25, we can uh, say that our sample is normal based on this result over here. So we can say that the condition is now satisfied for normality. So now let's go ahead and compute for our chi-square using the formula. And for the formula for the chi-square, it's the summation of observed minus expected squared all over expected. 
Now we're not going to manually compute for the chi-square. We can use our calculator to produce the chi-square of our list over here. So let's go ahead and use our calculator to get our chi-square goodness of this. For our calculator, our list one will be our observed value and list two will be our expected. So this one is list one and this one is list two. So now that we have our list one and list two, let's use our calculator to compute for the chi-square goodness of fit test. And it's here all the way down to letter D, chi-square goodness of fit test. And in this particular uh, calculator function, observed will be L1, expected is L2 by default, and the degrees of freedom will be four minus one. So let's add it in our calculation which is equal to three. So that's our degrees of freedom, and our calculator will give us the value of chi-squared, and our p-value, which is 0.2366, and p-value is greater than alpha of 0 0.05, and even at alpha of 0.10, which means we're not going to uh, reject the null hypothesis. So let's go ahead and write out our chi-square, and the p-value, And with this information, we can now write our conclusion based on our p-value and our hypotheses. So in this case, we are not going to reject the null hypothesis, which means we don't have any convincing evidence that the alternative hypothesis is true. So let's write it out in our conclusion. And this is, and this is our answer for problem letter C, which is giving a statistical evidence that the four uh, outcomes will equally li likely to occur.